Hi guys. You read that uh, that title right. I lost over thirteen thousand dollars. You're probably wondering how. Well, baby, that's because I treated my Pokemon cards as a kid like a normal kid would treat them. Okay. This is a Pokemon vlog. Okay. If you don't like it, click off. If you, but please don't. You know, like, share, subscribe, help a girl out. So I probably have close to a thousand if maybe not more Pokemon cards. Yes, I was one of those as a kid. My sisters and I also had the video games, so we had like silver and gold, ruby and sapphire, I have sword and shield, and then I also have Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Pokemon Stadium for the Nintendo 64, Pokemon Snap, which was a classic. If you saw our Valentine's Day vlog, I'm super excited to have pre-ordered Pokemon Snap that's coming out in April. And so recently I have been watching um, just hours of Pokemon footage of people, I'm not proud to say it, but of people like Logan Paul um, who have really helped kind of make this like second Pokemon boom happen just in time for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. And basically I went through all of my cards, sorted them, and then at the end of sorting all of them, I went through just my holographic cards. So maybe like 40 cards and one by one went through looking up how much they were worth if they were all in what's called gem mint condition which is basically on a scale of one to ten if they are a ten which is like if it's a holographic card no scratches on the hollow foil making sure that there's like no white around the outsides of the cards making sure the cards are centered and a lot of the things you don't have control over like the centering and the whiting of a card because all of these cards are made in giant sheets so it's like when they get cut are they cut perfectly i can control that but you know that's not you know the only issues i have i was a child so i played with these all the time um but basically i went through just my holographic cards okay and just the ones i have because i'm missing a binder and just out of these babies alone if they were all in gem mint condition they would have been worth thirteen thousand three hundred and thirty eight dollars roughly you know what I could do with thirteen thousand dollars so much okay I don't know if any of my uh, regular cards like my non holographic if you don't you all probably know what it means but basically like a holographic is like it's shiny this vlog is gonna be about my Pokemon cards as I'm sure you've guessed because I've shown them to you and they've told you um, but let's just get into it. So this is my original Pokemon binder. It's got a beautifully drawn picture of Ghastly on it. Um, I think I pretty much only drew Ghastly as a kid because that was the easiest one because he's just like a circle with gas around him. And even then I still didn't do a good job. Um, but this is basically it. So this is what like my Pokemon card binder looks like. This is what my Pokemon card binder looks like now. So I went through all of these. Um, Originally, like most of these oddishes were all stuck in one singular pouch. Um, so I went through everything like that, made sure I got all the cards out, and then they also used to be like backside and front side. So I went through and just made them all front sides. So I first ordered 30 new pages of like card, well, 30 new like card pages. And then I filled all of those up. So then I had to wait, I ordered 60 more and I filled another 30 or over 30 of them. So I still have some left, um, but I had to wait for that to happen. And when I first uh, started filming this vlog, it was February 9th, which was also the very first day that McDonald's was having Pokemon cards inside their Happy Meals. So I was like, I'm gonna go to McDonald's, I'm gonna get Pokemon cards, and then I'm gonna open them for the vlog. And then I got there and they were still giving out like weird Hasbro toys. So then I was like, well, okay, well I'll wait a few days and I'll go back to McDonald's, I'll get another Happy Meal. And I mean, I finally got it. I ended up getting a uh, two. So I have two card pouches to open. So I'm gonna do that here for you today because I'm excited and I've been holding back on them for a while. So intermittently dispersed throughout this video is gonna be footage of me right now and footage of me from the past. Um, going through my Pokemon cards, let's just start there. So like I already showed you, I started off with this binder, plus I had this tin filled with Pokemon cards, and then somewhere else I have a smaller yellow like binder, I think it was like yellow or purple. Um, but in there I have a lot of cards also, but I can't find that one. I don't think it made it here in the move, so it's still like somewhere up in a storage unit. So my tin was a majority, maybe like three-fourths Pokemon cards that I eventually sorted through. 
and then it was about one fourth of just these random older cardboard cards and what was cracking me up about these originally this was one of my favorites i thought the squirtle was so funny in sunglasses was that mixed in with these just random cardboard cards i also have like these random like neopet cards digimon uh <laughs> American Girl cards, don't, don't remember those ever existing, random Lord of the Rings cards, and then a personal favorite, you know, the Beanie Baby uh, official club card. So those were a fun find as well. All right, so the tin is all sorted through. So we have our fighting, electric, normal, psychic, grass, water, fire, iron, dark, trainer cards, and energy cards. So next I'm just gonna go through, sort them all by uh, certain Pokemon within that type, and then we will arrange the binders once again. Update guys, I just found uh, a first edition Ghastly, which I'm pretty jazzed about, baby. That means, I'm sure I've already said this, but that means that this is one of the first uh, cards ever printed for Pokemon, so pretty jazzed about that. You guys, this Smoochum right here is a first edition too. I'm floored. I just found two of them. I thought I had only like one in all my cards and now I think I have four or five. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> you guys, this uh, Charmeleon doesn't have a drop shadow, which is good. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean by a drop shadow. Basically, this Pokemon is called a shadowless Charmeleon. So basically, if you look at this Charmeleon versus Moltres, you can see that on, oh, there's my hand. On the small trace, there is a drop shadow around the bottom of the card to give it more depth. And also that this red is more um, vibrant than this red, which means that this card um, was one of the very first like three print runs. So that's super good. I don't know if this card is worth anything because it's not a, Char it's not a Charizard, but I'm pretty jazzed about it. All right, another update. It's been over an hour and I have another first edition trainer card. It is Sabrina's Gaze. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know how to use it. I just know that I have it. I never got into the actual game part of it. Uh, I just liked whichever ones were cute and or shiny. <laughs> all right, we are almost done sorting through all of the holographics, which means I am almost done sorting through all of these. But I just wanted to show one of my favorite holographics that I remember as a kid, which is this Graveler um, and it is probably one of my favorites just because it's the reverse holographic so the picture isn't holographic but like the rest of the card is hollow um, and they're like fireworks which I only have two cards that look like that I'm pretty sure so yeah I don't know why this was just always one of my favorites all right so now that the cards are all sorted I just want to show you what now that the cards are all sh shorted now that the cards are all sorted. I just wanted to show you uh, what my binder looks like now. Um, I don't know how many pages I started with, but I do know that I put over 60 new pages in. So, I mean, probably close to 90 pages, I'd say, in this binder. I definitely need to get a new binder just so I can maintain them safely. Not that any of them... I'm sure are worth a ton. So I did end up going to buy two more binders. So this is what my cards look like now. In the original and beautiful Ghastly binder, I have all of my holographic cards. So not a ton of them in here, but just enough. And I figured they deserve their space. So there's all my hollows. And then in this binder, I have my uh, electric, my normal Pokemon. I have my grass, fire, and then I also have uh, my water Pokemon in here. This binder has roughly 350 Pokemon cards in it. My hollow one has about 72 in it. And then I have this binder, which is my like psychics, my fighting Pokemon. It's got like my dark and my irons, as well as all of the energy cards and all of my trainer cards. And then so in this second binder, I have about 680 cards. So got a lot of them. So now the moment we've both been waiting for, I'm opening my two new McDonald's Pokemon uh, card packs. The thing that I'm super excited about is this 25th anniversary uh, Happy Meal box. I think that's the most adorable thing ever. I wish I could keep it for the rest of my life, but I shouldn't. <laughs> but here are the two card packages that I have. I've got this cute little Pokemon, or it's Pikachu. I know it's Pikachu, but this cute little like packaging and then I got this one I think this one's my favorite for sure this is probably the first time that I have oh 
just takes me right back. But this is probably the first time I've opened Pokemon cards since like 2003. So she's, you know, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure the holographic card is the very first one when you open it. So I'm going to be very careful to not look at it. And then take that card, put it in the back. And uh, we're going to look at these together. We're going to see what we got together. So I'm trying to figure out if I can find the orientation. Okay. So we've got, ooh, a Charmander. We've got, oh, a Squirtle. Can we get a Bulbasaur? A Torchic. Okay. And then, ooh, we got the Hollow Chespin. At least that's what I call them. I don't know if any of these pronunciations are right. Okay, I was eight years old at the time. Don't come for me. So we're opening the next pack. First one to the back. The Froki. <laughs> Another chest pin. Okay, that's fine. An Oshawott. That's a cute little penguin. Come on. And then our Hollow. Oh, a Popplio, baby. Look at that guy. Oh, cute. Well, that was fun. Uh, I'm so excited about this. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you've made it this far. I can't promise that I'm not going to upload another, uh, you know, 10-minute vlog about Pokemon, but the only way you're going to find out is if you subscribe. But you already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, hit all the buttons, do all the things. You got it, okay? I believe in you. And I'm trying to upload more regularly, so hopefully I will see you, if not again this week, maybe next week. Bye.